For over 40 years, Alec Gill has used his energy to document the rich history of Hull's fishing heritage and record the experience of the people living nearest to St Andrew's Dock in the city's Hesel Road community. Alec's books, films and public lectures have allowed him to share his knowledge of this aspect of Hull's culture with an audience far beyond the boundaries of the city. Now, a collection of Alec Gill's photographs taken on Hesel Road in the 1970s and early 1980s reveal and capture a significant moment in Hull's social history as the decline of the fishing industry and the mass demolition of housing transformed the character of this West Hull community. It's called the Hesel Roaders and it's about them. I'd like to think I put them on a platform and said, look, or a pedestal even, nothing wrong with being stuck on a pedestal, um, and say, look world, you know, this is what Hull is about. These are working class people and they're the, well, salt of the earth, another cliche I, I like to avoid. Um, but they are genuine people. They're rough diamonds and um, they're really nice people and that they shouldn't be given the shitty end of the stick sort of thing that life has given them. You know, they do, they are there, they're fishing, they're trawling. I mean, not everybody I've photographed, you know, but a lot of that community. And, um, and they deserve respect. You know, coming from a working class background myself, I have an affinity and empathy, you know, with Hesel Road culture. And uh, so I feel that's what I wanted to try and capture and to leave for posterity, you know, regardless of what happens when I'm dead. You see, the Hesel Roaders were the underdogs in a number of ways. I mean, they're the underdogs when you're fighting with Mother Nature out in the Arctic Circle. You can't argue with that. You know, you are an underdog. They were underdogs when they're dealing with the troll runners, because they had the people, the workforce divided up into different sections, and they were never united in any union way against the troller barons, and so there were the underdogs there. And there were the underdogs as far as the other people in Hull were concerned, because they tended to have this stereotype of the Hesel Roaders, uh, the brawling, fighting fishermen, unfair stereotype. But again, the underdogs, you see, and maybe my affinity with them, being a small person and having a deformity of my hands and feet, um, I could, and having been bullied and a bit of an underdog when I was at school, I had this affinity with them uh, that I maybe wanted to capture. Not that they see themselves as underdogs, because they have their own pride and identity. And uh, this was, it was good to try and tap into that. And the thing is, you know, Essel Road is known for having a community spirit. Now that is an abstract, nebulous sort of term. And you can't really photograph something that's nebulous and abstract in that way. Um, but I tried just to get as close as I could. And, um, you know, maybe with my photographs and trying to capture them doing everyday things. <laughs> It's a roller coaster German camera, uh, twin lens reflex to call it. I mean, I'm not into the technical side of things, but um, it was a passport. People saw it and they knew you were serious about it because it's a camera they might have seen on Hollywood films from the 1930s or 40s, 50s, and um, you know, and royal weddings and your fashion photographers they used them. But the camera, uh, because it's so unusual and because you don't lift it up as a barrier between you and them, it, it's, people forget it's there. I'm not a photographer per se who was on an assignment and just idolises his camera equipment and that's more important than who's being photographed. To me, I'm a psychologist with a camera who was interested in capturing people as they are.
it's been really, really good. What an interesting day. It's a must for anybody from Westall, indeed the all of all, to have a look at this exhibition. Alex Gill has done an absolute We should give him a knighthood. He's done a marvellous job. What's that, so brilliant about it? The photographs, the scenery, the memories, the... Uh, um, it's, I don't know. They're just brings, unique, aren't they? It, it just brings back you just try to tell your memories. grandchildren. And also sad memories as well, yeah. like you've seen all the trawlers in the scrapyard. There was poor times, but happy times. When they go to school, they don't see this. They're not taught this. They don't, they're, they're, they're taught history, but it's not this history. And, uh, and, and coming from Hull, I think all schools should show these. When my dad came home from seeing your yeah. dad and everything, and what have you, we absolutely loved it. Yeah. We, n we never saw our dads much at Christmas, so did we? Yeah. There was always at sea. But it was a community, a really strong, bonded community. That's what I remember. This exhibition is part of our history and heritage, and I think it's marvellous. The City of Hull should be really looking to preserve and uh, show these pictures widely, because here... You've got a you've got a treasure trove. Let's let's be clear about this. This is a treasure trove of history and photography together. You know, it's one thing having having historical photos. We've all seen them on Facebook of this and the other. Here's a picture of Ezra Road in 1960. But here you've got an artist who who's 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 presenting Ezra Road in that period in a very unique way. And so together, the historical and artistic value together. You know, I hope people in Hull realise what they've got and, and put their heads together and, and figure out a way of making sure this work is preserved and more widely shown. No, it has been overwhelming the response from a wide range of people, and um, uh, but I mean East Hull as well. If I may say that it's not just the Hesel Road, and I don't I resent it. I mean I've had a letter back from somebody, a, 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 an official, an email. And he seemed to think, oh, it's just Ezra Road and all the rest of it. Well, I think he's talking a lot of rubbish. Oh, two fingers. And, um, you know, I just don't believe him. And he, he is narrowed to actually project onto my pictures, it's just for local fishing farmers. Well, it isn't. That's a lot of rubbish. Uh, this is a springboard uh, to a wider community. And, um, you know, you were saying about somebody from Bristol. He could identify with it, you know. It was not from the culture at all. I don't know anything about Ezra Road. He relates to it. It's about you see people like people and people are universal so yeah people are going to be interested in their own community but the fact that these pictures are so good is what's drawing people in it's not just the fact it's a picture of Hazel Road or da 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 it's the fact that they're they're communicating something beyond the you know the bare documentary facts about the place and the people they're communicating something about the heart of the city and I think that's what's connecting with the audience at the same time that Alex's exhibition was attracting record numbers of visitors to the Hull History Centre, a series of impressive street murals appeared on Hesel Road. The murals were the result of a collaboration between artists from Hull and Belfast. Alec was pleasantly surprised to discover that two of his own images had been used by the artists. The photograph of Maxine and Julie from Flinton Street being one of Alec's own personal favourites. I mean, that's one of my favourite pictures because it shows the kids using the fish dock as a playground, you know, I mean, an industrial place. And, and the harmony between the industry and the community is captured in that one picture with piles of stacks of kits behind them and they're just using St Andrew's fish dock as a playground, you know, and going somewhere where they were forbidden to go. And uh, <coughs> the other girl, Julie, uh, she lied about her set, a Christian name. Um, 
because saying him um, because she didn't want her family to know she was on the dock. <laughs> but forty years on, I don't think the family mind after all. What we've got with Alec Gill's work, he's in the middle of that community. Although he's not from Hesel Road, he's from Hull. He understands the people there. He bothered to form a relationship with these people over a number of years, and that comes through because what you get there is a much more transparent, honest picture of that Hesel Road community because Alex's part of it, all right, is a peripheral part of it, but he's been accepted. And you can see that in a number of the pictures, even with the gypsy community, particularly, which are, you know, I can't remember seeing pictures of the gypsy community in Britain, you know, that early. These are brilliant pictures. Sentimental, no. Emotional, absolutely. I think any city that tries to forget its past and deny its past has no future, really. And that the richest thing a whole city has got is its people and their heritage of the ordinary families, East Hull and West Hull. So history is important. Um, and so uh, a city has got to respect that and show it as a, its own culture. And it shouldn't just be patronised uh, or ignored, even marginalised. And I think that's what the Hesel Road is all about. It's about city of our culture. It was nice. <coughs> getting the MBE from uh, Buckingham Palace and it was nice getting the honorary doctorate from Hull University but it was even better being invited down to Edinburgh Street Community Centre and seeing my picture on, the, on that mural as well, an indoor one. Like I say, I, I try to avoid using the word pride but it, 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 it can't not be there, it's there. And uh, so, I mean, it's 40 years' work, you know, and uh, or more. And um, so it's nice to be uh, honoured in these different levels.